Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kirsty, and today's video I'm super excited about because I don't know about y'all, but when this fall weather finally hits, all I want is some super delicious comfort food, so that is exactly what we're making today. Today's video is a part of a group collaboration that is hosted by Christy Osborne. I really enjoy Christy's channel. She's so sweet. She has great content. I will make sure to have her channel linked down in my description box below. I'm also going to have a playlist of the other creators that are participating. We're all doing delicious comfort food, so I know you're going to want to go check out that playlist. The recipe we are making today is we are making a chicken pot pie bake, and I actually made it out of this cookbook. It's a keto southern cookbook. I'm super excited. If you are new around here, me and my husband are lowering our carb intake just for health reasons, and so I found this on Amazon, and I grabbed it up as soon as I saw it, and y'all, I'm telling you, this recipe was so, so good. We have just a little bit of prep work before we get started on tonight's dinner. We need to finally dice up this red onion. And cube up this chicken into bite-sized pieces. As you can see, I melted a couple tablespoons of butter in my skillet. So first I'll add in my chicken and my red onion. Just give that a little bit of a toss. The recipe said you wanna cook this for a few minutes to let those onions cook down a little bit and you wanna get a little bit of color on your chicken. After letting your chicken cook a while, you can add in your mix of vegetables. I'm using canned mushrooms. You can use fresh if that's what you have on hand, but I typically always have these canned mushrooms in my pantry. For seasonings, some garlic powder, parsley, The recipe calls for a poultry seasoning, so I'm just using this garlic and herb with butter and sea salt from Kinder's. And lastly, just a pinch or two of salt. We'll stir this all together. And you need to let it sit here for a few minutes just to kind of let those frozen vegetables cook down a little bit, and then we'll move on to the next step. Y'all, I almost forgot the best part. Add in some fresh thyme. After about five minutes, you can add in your chicken broth. And you'll need to let that simmer uncovered for about 10 minutes or until all these veggies are tender. After about 10 minutes, add in your heavy whipping cream. And let this sit here and simmer until that sauce gets nice and thick. While we wait for that sauce to thicken up, we can go ahead and get started on our biscuit dough. You need a cup and a half of almond flour, two and a half tablespoons of coconut flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, one and a half teaspoon of sweetener, and half a teaspoon of salt. Go ahead and give that a whisk before we add in our wet ingredients. Add in two eggs that are slightly beaten, some melted butter, and two tablespoons of sour cream. I've let this sauce sit here and thicken for quite a while, so you can now add in your sour cream And the recipe does say to go ahead and turn your heat off and stir the sour cream until it's all melted in. Stir 
start with the chicken and veggie mixture. And for the biscuits, the recipe says to take about a fourth of a cup of the dough and place it on top and just kind of flatten it out just like this. Add this to a 350 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes or until it's golden brown and bubbly. And that is what's for dinner tonight, Keto Chicken Pot Pie Bake. Y'all, we loved that recipe. It was so, so good. I don't know if I've ever added cream cheese into a chicken pot pie before, but I can promise you I will not leave it out ever again. It was so good. It just added a super creamy texture to it, plus some added flavor. So do not skip out on the cream cheese. Also, with the biscuits, to me, they had more of a cornbread texture to them rather than like a fluffy biscuit. But I think that's just because almond flour is a little bit more gritty than regular flour. But I'm telling you, it was good. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me in the kitchen today. If you enjoyed today's video and you think you're going to love that recipe, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you are new around here, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. We do lots of cooking over here on my channel. Make sure you go check out that playlist for some more comfort food inspiration. And I will have this cookbook linked down in my description box below so you can grab one for yourself. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.